Hello and thank you for joining me for another Candle Talk video. Now this one is going to be a little bit different to the ones previously. Um, I'm going to review candles from a particular scent family, um, that being woody, smoky, bonfire smells. Um, I absolutely love wood smoke, my absolute favourite smell. It's very evocative of this time of year. For me, wood smoke is the smell of autumn and winter especially living in the countryside. Um, you know, it's, it's very near to October, the nights are drawing in and it is getting colder and the smell of wood smoke is becoming more and more present um, as I walk around the countryside, as I walk through the village that I live in. Um, it's a very, it's weird because, you know, you can make a bonfire anywhere, but for me it's a very English smell. Uh, Generally, gardeners now will be burning lots of, uh, you know, garden waste from the summer. And we are approaching bonfire night, which is a holiday in the UK, um, on November the 5th, where families and communities will gather together um, in a local space and build a massive great big fire um, and have lots of fireworks going off. There'll be gorgeous autumn food, you know, uh, roast um baked potatoes and hot dogs and burgers and big mugs of steaming soup. It's a really lovely time of year. Um, Bonfire Night celebrates the fact that uh, Guy Fawkes was discovered trying to blow up the Houses of Parliament. Um, and since then we have always celebrated the fact, even though it's kind of long gone, it's an event that we, we kind of stick to. And despite all the other holidays in, in the UK slowly uh, disappearing, so we're kind of left with May Day, Easter, Christmas and Halloween. Um, and Bonfire Night is one of those. Um, I think it will always stay. We do love a good bonfire and we do love a good fireworks display. Um, and I think that's where my love of smoky smells have come from, especially in the autumn. Nothing better than walking through the village in a chilly evening with the scent of smoke drifting through it. So, with that in mind, I've collected six candles, all from different companies, that will hopefully replicate that smell. Um, they've all had a good burn. I will give given each of them about a two or three hour burn, so um, I can hopefully give quite an accurate review. Uh, the first we will go for is Woodwick. This is Woodwick Wood Smoke in the Hearthwick range. Um, if you know your wood Woodwicks, you know that they usually do um, tall jars and slightly sh uh, shorter jars, very cylindrical. These are more elliptical and have a massive wooden wick. See it there. Um, the flame, it doesn't get high. It's not like a cotton candle. Um, it will basically generally smoulder but because of the length and the heat it produces, it's enough to melt the whole surface of the candle, so you don't need to worry about lids or foil or anything like that. Uh, back to the smell. This is a very... It's, there's, there's hints of fire, fireside woodiness to it, but it's very sweet. Um, I would say if you are curious to try more fire smells, but, or, or if you don't like them too acrid, this might be a good one to go for. If you've, if you've ever tried Woodwick's Fireside, it's very much like that, but much sweeter. There's hints of uh, vanilla and clove bud uh, there. You can, you, mean you can smell the embers, you can smell amber, you can smell wood, but the vanilla and the clove really soften it and really sweeten it. Um, I would say it's possibly more like an open fire with marshmallows being toasted. You've got that smokiness, but you've also got that sweetness. Um, that's what you get from this. I would say this is definitely an early autumn smell. Um, I wouldn't be burning this at... Oh, I suppose you could burn it at Christmas because of the sweetness. I suppose it would lend itself to Christmas, but for me, I like you know stronger, much more impact in my fire smells. Um, very smoky, very more, very realistic. Um, but being ha having said that, this isn't a bad candle, it's just sweet. So I said a good starter candle if you're thinking of moving into the more woody, smoky smells, you know, as we're coming into the season. So that is Woodwick. Um, it retails in the UK for roughly the £22 mark. I bought mine 
from an online shop on eBay UK. Uh, but the Woodwick range is uh, readily available um, in most places around the UK. If you search, do a Google search, you'll find your nearest stockist, I'm sure. Um, I would say so £25 is about $30, I think, $32, and I'm sure probably in America you can get it much cheaper. But for the UK, you probably won't have to pay more than £25, but you'll be lucky if you pay under £20. Um, I think probably because you know the glass is quite a weighted candle, and the normal woodwicks usually I think go for about the twenty pound mark, so it's not too bad. Um, next is Bath and Body uh, Bath and Body Works, or specifically White Barn Fireside. Now we don't get Bath and Body Works in the UK. It's a big shame because I think they could do very well in the UK. So if you live in the UK, you will probably have to either get this on eBay or you'll have to pay to have one imported. Um, in the US, these, I think, are about $22, $22, $23, um, which is about 17, 18 pounds. Now, unfortunately, you won't possibly pay. I paid 20 pounds for this, which equates to about $26, which, so Americans might think that's quite expensive, but if I bought it from the shop online and had it sent over, I would have to pay lots in postage, lots in import, so I, if you can find these on eBay UK for about the £20 mark, it's actually probably a bit of a bargain. Um, back to the scent, it's a uh, three wick and is a much more stronger candle than the wood wick. Um, there's hints of clove, I think, um, but nowhere near as sweet as the wood wick. There's more, more of a woodiness to this. Definitely um, more embers, more amber. Um, actually, I think there might be a description on the bottom, yeah. An inviting reminder of warm embers in the fireplace, sweetened with notes of leather, sandalwood, and rich amber. Um, yeah, the leather. The leather is also there, most definitely. Much more pungent, much more of a winter fireside smell, I would say. You could burn this, you know, from now all the way through until February, and, you know, it, it would really work. Um, if you've got a cottage, or if you've got a little small you know, small little cabin or something like that, this would really do well. Um, this is possibly the best throwing of the six candles that I'm going to review. Uh, possibly because it's got three wicks, I always say the more wicks the better. You know, it pulls a lot quicker, therefore you get the scent a lot quicker. Um, definitely a good one to go for. I believe it's also got an alternative name in the US as, as um, Comfort Fireside. So if you see that, it's, I think it's the same thing as this. Um, just lovely, smoky, woody, as I said, notes of incense, notes of leather, but nowhere near as sweet as the woodwick. So if you're, if you're wanting something a bit stronger, a little bit more realistic, then this is definitely a good one to go, go for, especially if you live in the US. Uh, the next one is Kringle uh, Firewood. This is a medium to wick jar. Um, once again, this is primarily a US candle. Although you can get Kringle candles in the UK, I don't believe firewood is available in the UK, so once again you'll either have to import this or get it on eBay. Um, I think this retails for about $25, about £20, um, and they come in much larger sizes, much smaller sizes, daylights, tea lights, etc. etc. Um, this is very lovely. This was very strong when I burned this, and it's it's a much more woody candle. There's not, despite being called firewood, there's not so much emphasis on the smoke. It is definitely more woody in its uh, in its scent. On the top, it does say uh, the scent notes of burning embers, cinnamon bark, cedar, brown sugar, vanilla, warm maple, and firewood. Um, despite them saying cinnamon, brown sugar, vanilla, and maple, it's not sweet. Definitely not sweet like the woodwick. Um, much more woody, much more like a sawdust kind of smell. If you've ever used a saw, um, when a sawing wood, and you get that, you get that, the wood dust smell. It's definitely like that. Um, there is there is hints of smoke in there, and the burning embers de definitely does come into play. But it's nowhere near as smoky as the Bath and Body Works or a couple of the under, uh, other candles that I will review. Um, so I would say this is a good, a good in-between, between the Woodwick and the Bath and Body Works, this 
fits in quite nicely. It's not too acrid, but it's not too sweet. It's perfectly balanced. Um, once again, perfect for the season. Lovely woody smells. You come in from the cold and you've got this burning and it will help just warm you back up. Really, really lovely. Um, next, I will review uh, a new company for me. I think this is the first candle of theirs I have reviewed. Uh, Henry, or Henri Bendel. A French name, but a, a company based in New York. Um, now, the good thing about these candles is they are available to just about everyone. Um, definitely America, definitely UK and Europe. Even though they are an American company and their website is in America, they are one of very few companies who are willing to post to the UK without you having to use a different shipping company or a handling company. Um, and at the moment, they offer free shipping to the UK. So I think it cost me £8 in imports and uh, taxes uh, to get this candle over, which isn't too bad. I mean, if you added shipping on top of that, it'd probably be about £28. So, you know, it's not too bad. Um, really nice box and a really nice little uh, candle. They are a little bit pricey. Um, these are... $30 full price on the website, which is about £25, um, but they are doing an offer, I think it's two for $50, which would be about £45. Um, so this is a firewood, um, and of the six, this is the lightest throwing. It's not a disappointment. Um, there, I've The groups I follow on Facebook kind of led me to believe that these would be amazing. And they are good. Um, I have burnt another one, um, Ocean Mist, which is completely different to this one. And that performed quite well. This was quite light, but still very much detectable. It was one of those smells where you walk in and you smell it, but you settle down in the room and you kind of lose it. And once you move around the room, um, it picks up again. Um, there are notes of Birch, leather, sandalwood, uh, vetiver, and these are all notes which are quite present in all these candles. You know, the smoke, the smoky fire scent can only come from a few different ingredients. It all depends on what ratio you use them. So some, like the woodwick, are more sweeter because they've got more reliance on the clove. Uh, some are more smoky because they've got more reliance on vetiver, cade oil. Uh, tonka bean, all these things that are actually quite smoky scents in themselves without being mixed up with anything else. Um, so I said it's quite light. If you had perhaps a small room, this would fare a lot better. My living room's quite large, um, which is probably why it struggled. I mean, it is the first single wick of the uh, six candles that I reviewed. Um, Definitely give it a go. Like I said, they are available to buy for the UK, for Europe. So I would I would give it a go. It's a light... It's a little bit like Kringle. It's more reliant on the wood. There's not so much smoke. But the smoke is there, just not so strong. Once again, if you are wanting to get into this scent family but don't want to jump right in at the smoky end then the the wood and the more woody candles like Kringle and Henri and both called firewood funnily enough um probably that's the way to go uh next is parks parks of london now as the name suggests this is a candle company from london in the uk um very much an exclusive um high end market candle. However, you can pick these up in TK Maxx, which is the UK version of TJ Maxx uh, in the US. These retail in Parks' store in London for £30. However, if you shop on TK Maxx or if you go into the stores, you can find these for £10, which is a massive saving, really, um, considering it is a luxury high-end candle. So if you're considering going for any of the Parks range, do check your TK Maxx, do check online. Um, you might find yourself a good bargain. Now this is 
They do, uh, Parks do a few different collections. This is the uh, Parks exclusive range, and all of those candles are numbered. This is number eight. Its alternative name is Feu de Bois, or uh, Firewood. Um, again, despite the unburnt wick, I have actually burnt this. I've got another one. This is much more stronger. We're moving more into the smoky category now. This is definite hints of birch, of cedar wood. Um, there's got to be, there's got to be some cade oil in there. I think um, there's definitely much a more smokiness to this, more so than the others. This is possibly more on par with Bath, uh, Bath and Body Works, but more stronger. And for a single wick candle, and if you know, if I hold it up to the wood wick, you can see the size difference. You know, for a single wick candle, this performs immensely. Um, this will fill my whole room with a gorgeous, smoky, woody smell. Perfect for this time of year. I discovered this a couple of years ago, um, and they seem to have come back into TK Maxx. So I snapped another one up, and I might even go back on the website and get a few more. Because it's such a bargain. You know, a saving of £20 on a candle. You really can't sniff at that. Um, natural wax, so you know, good for the environment if that's a, if that's a worry for you. Um, quite heavy weighted candles in a lovely decorative box, so good gifts. They do a whole range of different scents. So if you're not, even if you're not a fan of the smoky bonfire smells, do check their other candles out because they do all sorts. Um, I've only ever tried this one because this scent appealed to me so much. The others were florally fruity, they weren't really my cup of tea. But just gorgeous. Once again, if you could burn this all the way through the winter season, if you're fed up of pine, if you're fed up of cinnamon Christmas candles, this is a fantastic alternative. You know, um, you could recapture that scent of a log fire. In your, even if you don't have a fireplace, you know, you could make your home, even if it's a little flat in London, which I know because I've lived in one, they don't feel cosy, but you could make it cosy with these smells. So evocative of um, an English countryside, a, a bonfire burning in a cottage, or a massive uh, massive bonfire in the park for bonfire night. They all kind of work that way. The last one is True Grace uh, Bonfire, um, part of the Manor range. Uh, these retail for about £28. Now, the only problem is this is a delisted candle. Um, unfortunately, I goodness knows why they don't it because it's such a lovely candle. But um, if you're outside of the UK, you will find this difficult to get. Um, I won't lie to you. If you're in the UK, it's delisted from the True Grace website. But if you phone their shop in Bath, the last time I phoned them, they had some of these still in stock. So you could buy it from there, um, they're, they're usually quite happy to ship. Um, or if you do a Google search for True Grace Bonfire Candle, um, you will usually find little boutique shops that have an online presence that have stocked True Grace at some point and still have some of these available. Um, I've bought all of mine that way, I've never actually gone into a shop and bought one, I've bought them all online. Um, this is very much in the same vein as the Parks Candle. Um, once again, a heavy weighted jar candle, single wick, really gorgeous, smoky smell. It's kind of the same. There, once again, there's cade oil. It's woody. Um, there's a hint of tobacco in there, which lends itself perfectly. It really just helps that bonfire smell come out even more. Really lovely. Once again, a strong candle. It threw really well in my living room. Um, just perfect. Um, like I said, bonfires, I do think it's a love or a hate it smell. If, if I can't imagine people who love florals or fruits really being too into these smells because they're so different, because they're so strong usually. Um, smoke can sometimes have a bad connotation with some people. They immediately think cigarette smoke. Or just, like I said, bonfire smoke can be a little bit acrid to some people. I love it. Um, and the fact that all these different companies make bonfire smelling candles must mean that other people like it too. Um, so if you do, or if you know of any other candles that I've not reviewed that I might like, then please do let me know in the comments. I am happy to answer any questions you have on these. Um, 
Thank you very much for viewing, and um, I hope you have a lovely autumn. I'll probably be back very soon with another review. Um, but in the meantime, stay safe and see you soon. Bye-bye.